The year is almost ending, it's finally time. If the leakers are right, these characters are still on the board. Block content. I love Hot Hot. This video is for good boys and girls. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. And yes, we are talking about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Fighter Pass number 5. And Fighter Pass 5, it's been eluding us for a very long time because, yes, this DLC, we don't really know what the end of it is, right? We have Joker, we have the hero, we have Banjo, and now we have Terry as our most recent character as of the moment of recording, but we are waiting for for that final reveal. And there was nothing at the Video Game Awards, which was totally crazy. Everyone really expected something to be there, but yeah, there was just nothing. Really no big Nintendo announcements too, but definitely nothing in terms of just general Smash information or even a character or a hint of a character. And then of course, everyone was expecting the Fighter Pass 2 to be stealthily announced. And nothing like that happened, but I wanted to talk about it today the Verkaben and Sabi both have made a lot of, you know, statements about Super Smash Bros. about characters that their inside source says are definitely not the next character. So I really don't want to look ahead too much at what the next fighters are in Smash Bros. in terms of like the Fighter Pass 2 or any bonus characters that we might be getting. But I just really want to look at the characters that are most likely to be the next in line. Because if we are believing the statements of these guys, then there's definitely a lot of great stuff here to cover. And also, we now know, you know, compiled together information about what every region of the world really wants as the next character. So I wanted to dive into it together with you guys. And of course, we still have this great show called Question Blocked, where I answer your questions about your upcoming fighters, about Smash Brothers, thoughts on your favorite game or even questions about how to make videos on YouTube, you know, stuff like that. So please send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com. I am making a lot of episodes of this, so I'll try to answer as many questions as humanly possible. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plushie puppet and this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt, and they're both going away before the year ends. And comment down below to enter for these giveaways, and, you know, leave something original, leave something special, and maybe you'll be the proud owner of one of these two great items. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. Now, first, I wanted to talk about generally what people are expecting to be the next character in different regions. And mind you, this has been created by a Redditor called Zelk, and he basically formed up a chart about different characters from different regions, and you can very clearly see that it differs very greatly throughout the regions, right? So Japan really wants Lloyd Irving in this game, very much so that it's not even listed in the other things. You know, it's pretty crazy that all these characters have such a profound effect on these things, right? So that is super interesting to me. So Lloyd, then Sora, which actually appears at very much the top of every single list, which is crazy if you think about it. Then Dante, Monster Hunter, which I actually think has sort of a chance with, you know, the crazy cool Rathalos boss being in Smash Brothers. Then there's Byleth, there's Arl Naja, which of course has gotten a lot of traction even before the Video Game Awards, you know, stuff about Puyo Puyo, you know, a little bit leaked right there. And then there's Gundam, which is very interesting, a very Japanese property, Raiden from Metal Gear Solid Revengeance, and basically, you know, Metal Gear Solid 4, Gus of the Patriots, then Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7, and 2B, which I actually think would be a great fit and actually also appears on another list. So Sora is in the Americas right there, a very prominent character there because it's number one, then Crash Bandicoot, which isn't mentioned at all in the Japanese one, which would make a lot of sense, you know, it's a very Western character. Then Shantae, which I'm actually happy to see show up. Um, I'm very curious to see how her moveset would work with transforming and everything, so that's a really great idea. Then there's Gina, which didn't appear in the previous list, but does actually appear in the Europe one as well. Steve, which I'm actually kind of curious why it doesn't appear higher on the list, um, seeing that in the Zeitgeist, I have basically the feeling that Steve is very popular, even within the comments section of my videos, you know, Steve is hugely popular. There's Doom Slayer, which I think is a great shot. Master Chief, which I really want in Smash, like for many, many reasons, especially the moveset potential and also the idea of the big Microsoft, you know, 
the face, of, if you want to call it that, you know, the helmet of entire Microsoft. I, f I feel like that's that character, right? So Waluigi is there too, and I just think that that's funny because it's, you know, not necessarily a third-party character, but it kind of makes sense. Uh, I don't think it'll happen this game. I've always said the next game, you know, the first trailer we get, it'll be Waluigi. That's for certain. There's 2B appearing again there, and Bandana Waddle D, which I actually do believe would be a very interesting choice, and it's cute curious that this character doesn't appear in the Japanese list, seeing as that audience really appreciates the Kirby franchise as well. We go on to Europe, and that's actually where I'm originally from, so that's very funny to check out. What do my peeps want? It's Sora on number one as well, which is totally crazy. Sora is really knocking it out of the park, you know, by a very, very large margin. Then there's Steve as well, which, yeah, it's high up the list here now. Crash, so these three characters make a lot of sense. There's Rayman, who is also already in Smash in terms of a spirit, but as a character, that'd be cool. Doom Slayer and Geno also totally make sense. There's Heavy from Team Fortress, which I think is a very curious pick, right? Before a lot of other characters like that, you know, like Waluigi or even Shantae or Waddle Dee, there's Heavy, right? Then we go on for Agumon, a lot of my viewers, a lot of you block bodies out there really want this character in Smash, especially to get some Pokemon versus Digimon love going, right? So that would be very special, but I don't think the chances are that high at this point. Same goes for the next two characters, Dante and Jibanyan. I think out of all these three last characters, I think Dante actually has the biggest chance. Jibanyan is a character from a very popular franchise, but I don't think it's as iconic as, you know, something that should be in Smash Brothers, right? It might be a little bit too young to still be in the game. Dante, I feel, has earned his keep for a very long time, appearing in other crossovers too. So yeah, I would actually be for that character. And to see a battle between Dante and Bayonetta is going to be crazy cool. So to go through the thoughts of this user from GameFAQs, which I actually think is really interesting. This guy, Oma, says, assuming that Vergben's deconfirmation list holds up, and that's what this tweet of Sabi means, everything... These are the remaining options. I also will rule out first parties, given the direction of the past and the companies already presented. So he goes on to say what will be probably in that Fighters Pass number 5 if Sabi and Vergabent's deconfirmations are right. So this is just the fifth character, right? Nothing beyond that. So it says Bethesda, well, it makes sense, the Dragonborn, most likely in his opinion, but even then, it's difficult to imagine him getting in over Doomslayer, right? Crazy. So Konami... Contra guy, or, you know, the guy from Contra, right? Don't know his name, but unlikely in my opinion. I actually think it would be a great throwback, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. Arc System Works, hide. Let's be real, he won't get in over Ragnar or Sol. Activision and Blizzard, well, a Warcraft or Diablo character. Hard to imagine this happening over Crash or Tracer. Yes, a Warcraft character or a Diablo character, not too iconic. Those franchises are and the worlds are, but yeah, a single character, not too much. Marvelous, Saber, a lot of people have actually talked about Saber as well. Epic Games, Jonesy, which would be a lot of fun considering Banjo got in over Steve. This is 99% not happening in his opinion, which is very funny. Then Spike Chunsoft saying, ultimate student, yes, unless Sakurai wants to pull a hero, I don't know if this would happen over Monokuma. So these are a lot of characters that in a lot of respects are great, but are also very deep cuts, right? These characters don't exactly say, buy this fighter's pass right now. It's got these great characters, these huge names, right? I think especially the final character in that fighter's pass has to be a huge hitter. So from all these characters, I think the Dragonborn makes a lot of sense, you know, especially, you know, seeing that the franchise is now on the Switch, but also the idea that it would just bring a whole lot of great moveset potential with all the powers, you know, Fuz Rodar! I think that would be incredible. So this leaves a lot to the imagination, right? That fifth character, that final thing, that final piece of the puzzle that we haven't figured out yet. And I really want to know if you guys have any characters that you're saying, this has to be fighter number five. I mean, I won't stand for anything else. This has to round off this fighter's pass. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is... What do you think the fifth fighter has to be? And not, you know, will be. What do you think it definitely has to be to be successful 
Fighters Past DLC. So, as for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us by way of Mephiles the Dark slash Elijah Ramatali, also a Sonic fan, saying, I actually hope this is real because this has some really cool stuff and I can see 3D World getting the deluxe treatment as well as the fact that it starts with Luigi's Mansion DLC kind of makes sense and Mario and Sonic Olympic Games DLC that would make me buy the game. I want this to be real so badly. So this is all about that leak that we talked about two days ago that was basically about a Nintendo Direct, you know, trying to predict all sorts of crazy game reveals. So games getting a deluxe treatment like Super Mario 3D World, that is extremely exciting and interesting to me, but I think the time has passed already. What I I do think could happen for like a deluxe treatment would be the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and you know maybe pack it in with the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess together so you have a great overall package but of course what are you gonna do with you know the Skyward Sword game when it had all that crazy motion plus combat you know will you do something with the Switch detached controllers or will you be able to play it with just a control stick because a lot of game of the game kind of rides on the fact that you have to have motion control so really interesting to see how they'll do stuff like that. So thank you so much, Mephiles, for this interesting comment. And thank you guys so much for sending them in because these are always so much fun to read through. Of course, a huge shout out to everyone joining us in the live streams, you know, showing your support. You're, you guys are sending in donations, which is incredible. And thanks to our latest Patreon supporters. You guys make block content possible. If you want to have yourself created as a little block content character, join me for a Skype chat or even have your own video ideas, I'll animate them for you. Go to Patreon com slash blocked content. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there, and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the Blocked Content family yet, just click the subscribe button right now. It's that easy to become a part of this huge dynasty, right? So ring the bell for notifications so all the news and fun that you care about will be delivered on the daily to you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have a lot of great, like, winter content coming up to end out the year. I'll see you guys around the corner where there's always more Blocked Content. See ya.